what's going on guys this is gz welcome to my channel i already have showed you guys one variation of this build this is another and here in this build you will be seeing me using escape which is a dash ability going to give me a lot of mobility plus the side item that i am going to use is going to give me critical chance as well as the well it is going to trigger Vitus Arch. I will get in all the detail but not just that with this build you are also going to get total loss of control immunity whenever you want. So if you get into a bad situation where you actually lose total loss of control then you can actually escape from that and you will be seeing me escaping from various situation in this video so let's get into the bills quickly i would like to start from the set item here i am using four pieces of the just arch which is quite uh regular for most demon hunter it gives you 30 percent increase beneficial duration and also we will be spamming 30% attack speed all the time with escape ability and I will get into that how it's going to possible. Then we are using 4 piece of gloom price which works with the dash skill. Increase your damage done by 15% for 3 seconds after using dash and increase your critical hit chance by 22.5% for 3 seconds after using dash and as you can see i am using a lot of dashes there so i am getting increased damage and critical chance increase as well so this is really good but keep in mind this is actually only good for the pvp in my opinion because the buff is short duration and you won't be able to spam those dashes in pve because it requires you to take hits so let me get into the essence now best discretion is what i am using here which is escape cooldown is reduced by 1.6 second each time you take damage up to a maximum of 4.8 seconds this is how my escape is charging so quickly so this is the helm that you actually need and since you are losing escape i mean the losing the knockback shot because of not having the uh false manifesto and you would still require to have the attack speed this is why we are going with the hate speed which gives you 40 percent increased attack speed every time when you activate the vengeance skill itself and also the damage is going to be increased for vengeance as well so this is how we are compensating our attack speed without having the knockback shot with the false manifesto then we are actually combining this helmet with various other essences escape escalating violence is one of them which is really essential as you can see in the video i am moving a lot with escape escape now lunges forward damage and slow enemies so you can use this to either hit enemies with escape or run from them so this is actually really really good and you need to combine that with this pen here secret safe card what it is going to do is it is going to give you Escape now also grants the shield absorbing a thousand damage for five seconds. So this is actually also going to activate your Vitus Arch which is going to give you 30% attack speed. Then we are using Excavator for the Impale skill. Impale now causes your primary attack to also help penetrating knives and as you can see my Excavator Impale Skill cooldown is really low it only takes around one and a half second to charge so i can spam that with my primary and theory of retribution is what i am using with my primary so that i can deal more damage to play crossbow shot now also deals 12,000 additional damage whenever it hits the same enemies three times 
And also I am combining excavator with the cool rash dilemma. This is actually really good. It impale damage increase the closer the enemy is to you. So this is actually really good. And keep in mind I am using warden paragon tree so getting close mean I take less damage also take shield so this makes sense and finally to I am using tar black rain with the smoke screen skill so every time when I am getting into bad situation I can activate smoke screen smoke screen now engulf you in fog and allows you to retreat a short distance instantly rendering you to invisible while also removing loss of control effects and making you immune to them and knockback effects so keep in mind when you use this you cannot attack so only use this to run away change your position and start attacking again and you can use escape to move around so this is how these builds are working and it works really nice and I'll let you guys watch the video now and do let me know what you think and if you have any question do let me know in the comment section.